the electric motor which is mounted onto the front of the engine here, um, that is used to, to, to harvest energy. And so under braking, 80 horsepower um, is the rate at which the energy can be harvested. And then that's fed on a three-phase cable into a power electronics system. The power electronics converts the alternating current into a direct current, which is fed into the battery pack. And it's the battery pack where the energy is stored and it waits until the driver is ready to deploy that energy and then the journey goes in reverse. When we, do, we hear about Kerr's harvesting, that's whenever this is being used as a charging unit and putting the power through to the battery pack. Can the, can the driver vary that? Because obviously we see rear wheels locking up sometimes. The driver can vary the, um, the level of that power. Via regulation, it can't be more than that 80 horsepower level, but it can be lower than that, um, depending on, um, on circumstances. With the development work that we've done, we've now got the battery pack to last over 4,000 kilometres on, uh, on a very reliable basis. So the control unit, or the black box as we all know it, this is the same for all the teams, or all the drivers, basically? Yes, that's the, um, uh, the, the FIA standard ECU, and that's what monitors the system to make sure that we don't go above the 80 horsepower, either harvesting or deploying, and also the 6.7 seconds of boost per lap, um, that we don't go above that. Is there any way that a, a driver could get more out of it in one lap than another driver? Yes, absolutely. The, um, that that 6.7 seconds, the driver can do it in, in one continuous boost if the straight's long enough, or that can be broken up around the lap, can use it in a different way to attack or defend depending on race circumstance. Mm -hmm.